There is Dennis Stalabay. Preparing for his first contest. Of this championships, having received a bite in the first preliminary round. Sebastian Kush was a unanimous points decision winner over Oleg Berkovich of Israel in his contest in the round of 32. Lukash Yeseliev is our referee. Well, this 81 kilogram light heavyweight contest is a battle between reigning national youth champions in the 81 kilogram light heavyweight division. A boxer wearing red is from Ukraine, Denis Salabai, 19 years of age. His opponent is 17 year old Sebastian Kush, wearing blue, fighting here at his home championships. Wonderful occasion for the Polish boxer. Team powerhouse boxing nations. Poland, one of the four teams here with a full contingent of 20 boxers across the men's and women's tournaments. Ukraine, 19 strong, 10 men and 9 women in their squad. Did you start from both boxers, Salabai? Score with shots on the inside. Right hand on the back foot was an effective shot from Kush. So Kush being put onto the perimeter of the boxing ring, but he's keeping his composure, moving left and right, scores with a nice two-shot combination of straight punches. And that's a beautiful right hand lead. Picks without reply. Now looking to establish his left jab. Salabai. Continuing to remain on that front foot. Nice left jab landed by Salabai. Kush just looking to hold his feet momentarily. Scores with a nice right uppercut to the body between the wide-held hands of the man in red. Salabai digging away with his free right hand. The referee has to issue the command of break. Jolting left jab on an upward trajectory landed by Salabai. Kush with a right hand over the top. Kush continually taking a long way around the boxing ring, occasionally holding his feet as he did there. When he goes to the ropes, he's perhaps inviting pressure. And I'm not quite sure that he's looking to lay a trap out of that posture. But when you see that he's in the space here, he's doing very well indeed with his shot selection. Can he stay in this type of territory and make Salabai pay a toll to get inside when he wants to whack away with arcing punches? Right hand over the top on the resumption from Salabai. So rather untidy during that flailing exchange. Right hook nudged around the corner from the man in red near to his own corner just before the bell. Fair reflection as to just how competitive that round was. Some of the action where the man in blue was invariably on the perimeter of the ring, but when he held his feet and got himself into space, his accuracy was notable. Able to peck and poke with shots like that single right cross that he was successful in landing. Thank 
Get out, please. Round two. Going to the second round then. It's a quick start by the boxer in red, Salabai representing or boxing for Ukraine. Push aware of that, looking to find the range with his own right hand. Left-right combination, a nice shot. A nice selection of shots from Push. Salabai noticeably quickening the tempo here. Both boxers will be aware of the score after three complete after three completed minutes. Salabai is also looking to up his work rate. Push keeping cool under fire. And he comes out of the corner with intent behind a left-right combination. Cleverly claims his man to prevent him from punching, but then neither boxer working away on the inside. Salabai does try to do so with his left hand. Or the issue of the break command from the referee. Push remaining over that front foot. Excuse me, Salabai remaining over that front foot. Can Kush push the man in red backwards? Let's see how he operates on the retreat. So midway through the second round. Left hand to the body and then the head, but look at the response from Kush to eye-catching shots. Swiveled underneath from the man in blue. Push looking for a speculative right hand, that fell short, but the follow-up jab did, did get through in that reverse one-two. Then a nice left hand to the body from the man in blue. Hard-fought contest, this one. Remember, these are 81 kilogram light heavyweights, and both boxers letting their hands go. Oh, my goodness. The well, warning has been issued for excessive holding, and it's going to be won both ways. So, a point will be removed from the scorecards of both boxers. So, nobody's scoring more than nine here. In all likelihood, it's going to be a 9-8 round. Because warnings have been issued both ways for holding. Well, a very competitive three minutes, an incident filled three minutes where each man has been warned for holding. It's another 3 2 split. So going into the third and final round, it's square for two judges. Two judges favoring the work of the man in red, one judge favoring the work of the man in blue. It is incredibly tight. And a big third final round will prove decisive. All tied up. With two of the scoring judges, two judges preferring the work of Salabai through two completed rounds, one judge preferring the work of Kush. The boxer wearing blue. Second out, please. Round three. So we're into the third and final round of a contest that is in the balance. It has been nip and tuck, give and take, every inch of the way so far. And this one being fought at the pace of light flyweights between these two 81 kilogram light heavyweight boxes. Impressive conditioning. Here at Kielce 2021. Now, in addition to the activity, there has to be some accuracy, there has to be some quality by these boxes to put some distance between themselves and their opponents. Who can produce that? There's no doubting the industry coming forth 
from both fighters. And the man in blue, remember, he's competing here at a home championship. It's a COVID safe championship, so no crowd is in attendance. But I think just about every volunteer and staff member who is able to is making their presence felt as the two men continue to jolt the head backwards of one another on the inside. Frenetic exchanges at short range. Kush just taking a breather, hands down by his belt line momentarily. Arkin right hand over the top, lands twice in quick succession for Salabai. So Kush willing his way forwards, visibly biting down on that mouthpiece and trying to land successful shots on the inside. Salabai pushes him back. But Kush, gamely standing his ground and trying to force the man in red onto the back foot. And he does so just there for one of the few times in the contest. Final minute of the final round of a contest that is in the balance. Good double jab from Salabai. We haven't seen that straight shot from him too often. Content, content to get on his toes now and show a different side of his game. The two men exchange lead left hands. Kush coming forward but couldn't find the range. Salabai couldn't score on the counter. Now they're back in the territory where they spent the majority of the contest. Toe to toe, chest to chest in the final half minute of this round. The final half minute of a contest that is all square for two judges. The man in red leading for two judges. The man in blue leading for one judge. That is how close this contest is. Left-right combination was flashy from Salabai. So the 10-second clapper as the decibel level rises once again in this contest that is taking place behind closed doors, but there's no doubt as to who is the home boxer. Both boxers giving absolutely everything in pursuit of a place in the quarterfinals. A terrific contest is likely to be a split decision. Who is going to have their hand raised at the conclusion of that one? Both boxers warned in the second round for excessive holding. And there's no questioning desire of both of these athletes. Let's get the announcement to see who progresses. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by split decision is the boxer from the red corner, Dennis Salabai. And it is you Salabai can... who has prevailed on a split decision victory. Very hard for to fair indeed. And it's the Ukrainian who goes through a 4-1 split in his favor. Terrific output of punch from both boxers. Sebastian Kush eliminated here in his second bout of Kielsa 2021. A memorable occasion for him. But Salabai just producing the more consistent quality in the third and final round.